Are you looking for a fun, easy, cheap way to spruce up any wall in your home or apartment? Well, I've got the perfect way for you to bring new life to any wall in your home. Chalk wall. One of the things that I do a ton of at my shop is chalk art and chalk murals. So when one of my clients was celebrating her son's graduation, I had the perfect idea. I had already done a fun, classy floral mural on her kitchen wall previously, so when she came to me telling me her firstborn was graduating and needed something really fun for the party, I knew just what to do. She wanted something really inspirational because it was her first kid going to college, graduating. That's a huge milestone. So I knew we had to do something really amazing. She came to us with a lot of really great ideas. She's super crafty and creative, this one. She had a lot of ideas that had to deal with Dr. Seuss and mountains, you know, as her son was about to take on this giant new adventure. So my awesome hubby Greg drew up some really fabulous ideas. The really cool thing about chalk walls is that you can change them whenever you want. Whether it's a fun holiday or you have a special event or it's just a Tuesday afternoon. Super easy, super fun, and not that expensive. Now don't get me wrong, depending on what design you go with, it does take a good amount of time and a good amount of effort but it's gonna be special and it's gonna be uniquely you because you made it up and it's on your wall. So the first thing that you wanna do is obviously pick a wall and paint it with chalk paint. You're going to wanna make sure that your wall is dry and clean before drawing on it. One other helpful hint that I can give you if you're starting from scratch is that you're gonna kinda rough up the wall a bit before drawing on it. And what I mean when I say that is Take some chalk and kind of just draw all over it. I know it sounds crazy, but you're gonna draw all over it and then kind of erase it and do that a couple times. That way it just gives a really good surface to start with. This helps the chalk go on a lot smoother and erase a lot easier. If you're like me and you love the chalk markers that are erasable, then you need to make sure you're working with a really good surface or those chalk markers are not gonna erase. Once you have your design or phrase picked out, it's time to start with the fun. You can totally just go for it if you want, but I have a couple hints that might save you some time. We ended up going with a really fun mountain scene and then a fun Dr. Seuss quote right above it. Now we didn't just go for it because we didn't want to mess up a million times and then have to erase it and start all over. So for sake of time and to make it look really perfect, we traced it by projecting it onto the wall first. To make things easier, we actually drew it on the iPad first and then projected it onto the wall and then traced it. Super easy and saves a ton of time. After you've traced it, that's really it. You start shading and coloring in and just having a good old time doing it. One last touch that our client wanted us to add to the wall to make it just that much more perfect was by adding each name of her son's graduating class to the wall. Now don't worry, there wasn't like a million of them, but it did take a little bit of time, but it really did put it over the top. They were having a big graduation party and she wanted to make it super special when all those kids showed up and saw their name on the wall. Super cool. Wow, that turned out so great. What do you think? It's about time that I do this chalk wall right behind me. Do you have any fun ideas for the holidays? I'd love to hear your ideas, so comment below. And don't forget to share this fun idea with all of your friends. I'll see you next week. You ever drawn on a chalk wall? Let me show you how. Let me know when you try yourself.